Gathered Guild Hall. Ah, hello again. Um, it is again, isn't it? You were here earlier, I think. <coughs> yes, that's right. We'd like to speak with Mayor Lowinda again. I just took some papers to the mayor in her chambers a few minutes ago. She um, is a visitor at the moment. A visitor? Oh dear, that's inconvenient. I really, I really need to speak to the mayor at once. The mayor often has visitors, visitors I'm afraid. Like that er, young couple who are always here. Mm. A young couple, you say? Yes, um, I um, think they work in theater, or maybe not, er, I'm not sure. I had a feeling I recognized their faces from the state, I just can't um, remember their names. Vic and Tim, perhaps? Yes, that's it, that's them, they've um, been visiting the mayor, oh, almost every day recently. And you know, it all seemed to be rather uh, hush hush what they were talking about. Oh, I'm sure I'm that I'm just imagining things. Well, um, maybe I am anyway. Hush hush? Sounds sus to this pup. Oh, I agree with you, Cheryl. This is very sus. So the two missing persons were both friends of the mayor? Miss Satan, this could be a vital clue. I suspect there's more to this than meets the eye. Come along, we must quiz me, Miss Lowinda at once. Oh, um, but I think the mayor is still ve busy with a um, previous visitor. I'm afraid this man is very urgent. Who even is this visitor anyway? Er, uh, I, I think it was someone from Scotland Yard. A profiler, was it? A profiler? You mean, you mean, you don't mean Emiliana Perfetti, do you? Ah uh, yes, that's right. She um, said she has some questions for the mayor. Not the old sarpus again. Emiliana visits the mayor. Presumably this means she's also working on the case. I know. If we're all talking about the same thing, they won't mind if we barge in. Yeah. I think I'm starting to figure out what happened here, really. You found a clue? Mere links to the victim. Maybe there is another one here, because they tend to refresh after a while, right? Or... I'm so surprised there's nothing here. Maybe there isn't, and I'm just wasting my time. Correct! Yeah, maybe I am. Do so. No, you don't have a puzzle. Okay. Yeah, no, she doesn't have another puzzle. Okay, good to know. Excuse me, this is a private meeting. Oh, Miss Perfetti, I'm sorry, we weren't expecting to find you here. Hmm? Is everything all right? It's clear you don't like. It's clear you don't like me. Now, whatever gives you that impression. There is no point trying to deny it. Your intonation betrays your true feelings. That old pause before I spoke. The way your lips, your lips curled. The telltale shift of your eyes. I can read you like a book. Really? How incredible. I had no idea it was being so obvious. You, you, you aren't even going to attempt to deny it? Let's get to the matter at hand, shall we? I see you've been interviewing the mayor. But Benny, yes. And I presume you being here means you're also investigating this case? Very true. So, I have, so what have you found so far? I don't see why I should tell you. That's right, because we don't actually want to solve this crime or anything. Alora, let's see if it's even worth filling you in. If you can solve this puzzle, I might consider it. Of course it's gonna happen. Point to the finger. What the? Here we have nine people, some good guys and some bad guys. If a good guy was has a bad guy next to him, he will point at the bad guy. Otherwise, he will fold his arms. Whereas the bad guys always point at someone, whether that person is good or bad. Select a person to mark him as a bad guy. Select again to remove the mark. Place markers on the two bad guys hiding in the group. Okay, so what? Ooh, if you guys... Okay, so we know... 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. So we know the ones on the middle row aren't bad guys and the ones on the top one and the bottom one also aren't. Because they are with their arms crossed. So... Huh. So maybe this is a bad guy? No. Wait, wait, no, wait. Uh. Yes, yeah, so... But no, I'm, mm, hold on a second. Much, much, much later. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the obvious one. That is this one. No, no, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can already think about it, it makes sense. Because this guy here is also, <coughs> sorry. This, the green one is also pointing to this dark blue one. So yeah, look, all of them are pointing to this one here. Except him. And this guy here is also pointed. So yeah, maybe this guy and this guy. Right? This is an interesting one. Any mystery yes. Solved. You did it. The bad guys are on top are on the top row in the middle and on the right. Once you figure out that a bad guy points at good guys, it's easy to spot them both. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a very difficult puzzle anyway. I kind of have to agree on that one. It was a bit tricky, but not difficult. The perfect storm sweeps in again. Alright, as a special favor, I'll give you my an <coughs> sorry, analysis of the case. First of all, oh my, I love Cheryl when he ended up sliding up his mouth in surprise and all. First of all, let's review the facts. This morning a man was pushed from the bank of the Thames into the river. There was at least one witness, but he was on the opposite bank and the criminal was too far away to be seen clearly. Soon afterwards, a woman threw herself into the river from the same bank as the witness. Which all fits in exactly with the legend of the Thames. Yes, the missing couple are known as Vic and Tim, residents, residents of Chancellor Lane. They are both members of the theatrical group and were planning on, uh, to participate in tonight's Riverside, Riverside Show of Devotion. However, no one appears to have realized that the pair were seeing each other. Which is where the facts I've heard from the legend. Meanwhile, we have the information that the couple were meeting regularly with a certain third party. You know who that is, I presume? The very person who is to get an investigation, Mayor Piper Lowinda. Alora, from these facts, there is only one conclusion that can be drawn, and that is, the person who pushed the mayor into the river was Mayor Lowinda herself. Never! An interesting deduction, Emiliana. I admit there are some facts missing at the moment, but all the evidence points to Mayor Lowinda. There is just one vital factor missing that would incriminate her beyond doubt. Emotive, you mean. Hmm, yes. I see you and I are on the same page. Naturally, I've explored the possibility of the criminal being someone else. Usually, I get a clear profile of the culprit from the case background and evidence surrounding the victims. This time, the profile isn't coming together. Why did the culprit push the man into the river? And how is that related to the woman, th the woman, threw herself woman throwing herself in? Neither point ties in with the current profile I have built up. This is the first time I've encountered a case like this. The profile, yes. It sounds like you're struggling a bit, Miss Perfetti. Struggling? Me? Ha! The more challenging the case, the more I shine. This is a shine or wine. I know which one I heard. The fact that a profile doesn't fit some key facts about the case is an important piece of information in itself. All I need to do is work that back into my analysis and build up a new profile. So I must get back to the yard. The profile doesn't fit the facts. Hmm. Have you had a thought, Miss Layton? Oh no, it's nothing. Come on, we must talk to the mayor again. Yes, I'm again. I'm think I already figured out what is going on. You found a clue and distinct killer profile. Hmm. 
Excuse me, Mayor Luinda. Oh, hello again. How is the investigation coming along? Very well, thank you. I think we're nearly there. I'd like to ask you one or two more questions, if I may. Of course. Anything to help solve the case, ask away. Thank you. I'll get straight to the point then. It seems you've really gone to extreme lengths for the sake of this year's Riverside Festival. Yes, well, it is all in tradition, after all. I'm all for progress and forward thinking, but traditions are very important as well. She's not wrong. After all, you can just look at the Japanese. They have them both. I hear that you undertook a lot of planning yourself, and that you wanted to reinvigorate the festival in a way. Yes, I'm afraid I'm not good at delegating. I always want to do things myself whenever possible. I also understand that you've been ha having lengthy discussions with some of the participants in the show of devotion. That's true. It's the climax of the whole festival, so it requires special attention. It's really vital that a festival is success this year. That's why I've had to plan everything so meticulously. I see. Well, I think we have a good idea of, a, of your particular strong zeal for the event now. Thank you. That's it? Strong zeal? Is that all you got, Cat? Ah, uh, don't worry, Shirley. It's all I need. Oh, that's strange. What is it, Miss Layton? There's something different about his office. Office. Something's changed since we were here before. Has it? So if you've not even mentioned it, I'm picking, I'm picking something too. Have a good look around, everyone. We need to figure out what's different. You mean this giant teddy bear that wasn't here before? At least I think he wasn't here before. Yeah, yeah, you have the same information to say about the couch. Again, I'm looking for for hint coins because again, you never know where you're gonna find them. I honestly don't believe there are any none here, but for now, let's just focus on this. Ah, the teddy bear wasn't here before, was it? Oh, isn't it cute? I must say, though, it doesn't really fit with the image of the mayor. Haha, <laughs> I suppose you wouldn't expect to find a cuddly bear in the office of a go-getter city of London mayor, would you? The truth is, Theard Bear, as he may be, this old, this old friend helps me relax when things are getting a little hectic. It does seem a little out of place in here. You seem so self-assured and confident. Do I? Well, I had quite a few soft toys. I was fond of when I was a little girl. I had one like this too. Oh joy, another puzzle. Rainbow Rabbit. Looks like this white, cuddly rabbit needs a bit of color, but there have been a few sp specific requests. You can use three colors, pink, yellow and blue. Pink should appear in 7 places and yellow in 4 places. The same color should be appearing next to itself. The body in both shoes should be the same color. Select an area of the rabbit to cycle through the colors. What? Oh, like this. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, so... Wait, so... Pink should be 7 places, so... 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, and seven, maybe? Yellow needs to be in four places. Uh, the body of the shoes needs to be so... No, it... Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, it makes sense, because the body needs... Honestly, the head was just pure luck. And because the blue was never specified, here's the blues. Yeah, I think this is right, because look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 in the middle, 4 yellows with the body and the shoes being the same color, and the blue one here for the last, because yellow and pink shouldn't touch, because there's yellow and pink here. This is an interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. 
Nice, I got it! Honestly, not as complicated as I thought. If you just think of it in pieces or parts. You did it, but a call for Rabbit. Looks like it just, just the way she wanted. Haha, <laughs> I had a feeling that wouldn't stop you. My father bought this bear for me, actually. It was at the Riverside, Riverside Festival for one of the three stalls there. Ah, so it has special meanings for you then. Yes, that's right. Especially as my father is no longer with us. He was a very busy man. He used to work extremely hard. But even so, he always made time to take me to the Riverside Festival. I love the festival and the time I spent at it with my father. Ah, so many memories. So that's what's going on here. Mayor Luinda has memories with her father on the Riverside Dale Festival. But the festival is attracting less and less people, so it's so city council or something like that is thinking of, you know, getting rid of it because it's not being as lucrative as it used to be. She doesn't want that. So she schemed with the two actors to be one pushed in, the other to jump in, like the original story of the couple that made the legend, and those who never reappeared because they were probably rescued somewhere else and now are hiding to the end of the festival. I think that's what's happening here. You are correct, sir. Yes, there is no greater tragedy than memories of your loved ones, isn't there? Absolutely. And I'm sure lots of owners feel the same way about the festival. People in the city have been making wonderful family memories at it for years now. Which is why it's such a terrible shame that the attendance has been falling in recent years. The idea of abol abolishing it altogether is, is just abhorrent. I have to preserve my precious memories. The festival must be a success. Are you alright, Mr. Linda? Oh, I do apologize. I, I don't usually let myself get quite so animated. Please don't apologize. It's nice of us, lesser mortals, to see that even someone as cool and collected as you loses a little control occasionally. Being mayor means you have to keep your emotions buried, you see. Really? I would have thought it's better to be true to yourself in a role like yours. Maybe some of us are a little too true to ourselves, eh, cat? Ah, I've had a good idea. I'd like to show you something rather special. Oh, something special? Yes. There's a balcony just outside here. Would you join me out there for a moment? Yeah, but I don't think there's any coins here, so... Mind you, I could be completely wrong, so... Well, what do you think of my view? Aren't the city lights beautiful? It's like all the stars have fallen from the night, night sky in London and London. Now that's a view! Ah, you can see the festival grounds from here, too, look. So you can! The festival lights look lovely as well. They do, don't they? It's such a shame that year by year there have been less lights and less people enjoying the event. But see how bustling it is this year. All those people who've forgotten about the festival over time have come back again this year. And I feel confident now that next year there will be more people again, and even more a year after that. Parents bring their children, children, and in the future they'll soon bring their own children. That's all I wanted. This year's Riverside Festival is going to be very special indeed. Hmm. Yeah, I think I already figured out the case, and uh, I have a question. Where the heck was Zornus and all that? It was, wasn't even the scene. And again, use an animated cutscene just for that. Man, talk about cheap. Though then again, from what I understand, this was originally a DS game, so maybe that's the reason for that. Well, I'm very sorry for taking up so much of your time when you're so busy, Miss Luinda. Oh, that's quite alright. I enjoy discussing the festival with you. Good luck with the investigation. Thank you. I believe you're honing, honing in on the truth now. Really? That's wonderful. Wonderful. Keep me posted. Yeah, 
Yeah, I oh, I think I already figured it out at least. It's complete. Yeah, sure, I'll solve it. I've cracked it. This case is also is as clear as crystal to me now. Is it? I could have sworn we were getting further and further from the truth. Oh, Miss Lyson has an act for seeming, seeming like she's going off on a tangent when I'm sure she's really solving the case in her own way. Well, I'm pretty sure anyway. So let's call Inpe Inspector Hastings and ask him to meet us. The time has come for me to reveal the truth behind this whole affair. At once, miss. Have you really figured it all out, cat? Tell all, Miss Layton, please. That isn't long until I have to give the closing speech at the, f at the festival. Oh, don't worry. This won't take long at all. Where is the voice acting? Because the other time when we were solving case, there was voice acting. What the hell? As you all know, the incident that took place this morning followed the old legend of the Thames almost to the letter. Yeah, too much of a coincidence, that obviously. Someone clearly made a deliberate effort to copy the legend. Quite right, Inspector. Somebody did exactly that. Alright then. Who's the culprit, Cat? I think first, Inspector, there's something more important than identifying the culprit. Wrong. And that is how crazy you are about festivals, Mayor Loanida. Who did it's far more important in a who done it? How? How did you know? She's right, dog got it! Are you going to explain yourself, Cat, or what? Mayor Loanida, loving the Riverside Festival as much as you do, it became unbearable to watch its popularity dwindle over recent years, didn't it? So her name is Loanida. Loanida. Oh dear. So she killed him. Is that what you're saying? No, no. A festival lover would never do such a thing. Hey? But you said... It was all an elaborate show, made possible by the Mayor's great power and influence. Part of the festival entertainment, if you will. The murdered couple are alive and well, no doubt hidden somewhere inside this very building. But she's the one who asked for me to investigate the case. I'm sorry to say, Inspector, that I believe the Mayor thought it was a case you wouldn't be able to solve. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> well, Catriel, I see you're quite the entertainer. <laughs> mm. <laughs> It's been an eventful festival, that's for sure. And a successful one, too. Wait, where was my per why was Perfetti there outside? I'm, I'm confused. Yes. I'm delighted that my last festival as mayor hasn't been a flop. Thank you, Catriel. Are you retiring, Pippa? Yes, I must. I've abused my position as mayor. I mean, I want to call it abusing, more like you use it to, you know, keep a tradition alive. And let's be honest, who in politics doesn't abuse their power for far worse things? I just couldn't bear the thought of the festival my father always took me to being abolished, you see. But I've let everyone down. I see. Well, I'll be sad to see you go. Mayor Loanida, thanks to you, this year's festival enjoyed a record-breaking turnout. There's just one little problem. Oh? What problem? Have a gander at this. Goodness me, what? It's a proposal put forward by some of London's youth. They want the same performance you cooked up this year to happen every year, only bigger. 
Uh, suggesting calling the old love story thing the uh, the Riverside Musical, and they're planning massive participation from youngsters all over the city. Mind you, that's like a very good idea, especially to keep the Riverside Festival alive. Plus, a tragic story with the romance in it. Couples would love it. Couples eat that stuff all the time. I, I just don't believe it. I think London still needs you at the elm, Mayor Lamanida. After all, no one loves this city like you do. And it looks like next year's festival is gonna take some planning. Oh, Inspector Hastings, I don't know what to say. The missing couple made an appearance at the Riverside Show of Devotion that evening. They explained everything that had happened. The festival was an unprecedented success, attended by more people than ever before, thanks to mere Luanidas' hard work. I'm probably still gonna call Low Window because it's easier for me, but Luanidas, okay. So it looks as though the festival re will remain as one of London's greatest, great traditions. It's a place where families can gather and make memories together that will last them a lifetime.